Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tana. So today I have the update for the project 50 Shades of Yellow or Gold. And this is a project created by Jessica Lee, Amanda D and CC. So this is a project where you have to find 50, uh, 50 things, let's say, of one color. So uh, in the Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group, we have a, uh, we had a poll and based on that poll, we decided for this year uh, that, that we will work on the color yellow or gold, you know, so in the previous years, we worked on the color pink, uh, purple and green. <laughs> okay. Uh, so three colors are or were already covered in the uh, last years and now it's the time for yellow gold and gold and in this project you pick your things based on the color itself of the of the product the color of its packaging or if it has a name let's say yellow or gold in in it and then you start to work on it you can set yourself the goals if you do usage goals or use up goals it's really on your own terms that you how can I say pick the products and work on them. So in my case, I actually picked, I believe over 50 free, 50 uh, products, mostly eyeshadow as well as pigments and uh, also a lot of complexion products in, a, in the sense of, you know, highlighters and blushes and so on, because I want to work on those things, you know, so, um, and I have a big collection of those. So I said, I'm going to work on each product 10 times and then roll them out. So. And I'm going to show you the things that I have worked on so far. Maybe I have one product that is a repeat because I don't know if I presented to, uh, to you last time or not. But anyway, I just go, I'm just going to show it to you again if, if that's okay with you. So now let's get started with the first product. I have here this little guy from ELF. This is a jalapeno palette. And you can see I used actually also the green shadow, but uh, not in this project, but you can see that there definitely ye the yellow was used. So I used it 10 times, therefore this one rolls out. Okay, then I used in this Revlon So Fierce palette, also the yellow color or gold color. There's a hair stuck on my nose. Okay, so here. Now you can see definitely disturbances on the pan, right? So, and I also used the pink in another project, but yeah, I used the 10 types there for this one also rolls out. And then I started to use this little guy here. This is from Laura Geller, the High Def uh, Glow Illuminator Duo, Heart of Gold in Shimmer and Sparkle. As you can see here, I used mostly this shade as a kind of inner corner highlight. Uh, quite happy about it. And uh, so, yeah. Just, I will definitely put it into other projects as well, I think so. And to my surprise, this little guy surprised me. This is from Kiko Milano. This is from their holiday collection. And it is a blush and highlighter duo. And the shade itself is number two, Stardust. I believe there was a second one, but I didn't get the second one when I bought this palette later in sale. So this is, as you can see here, the blush and the highlighter. The blush itself is a powder, but this one is a cream formula uh, highlighter. I didn't know it, you know, so I would have already picked it out a long time ago and tried to use it because it was in my possession for quite some time. And then I noticed, oh, it's actually a cream. So, and this one will definitely go into other projects just to use up the cream product, you know, because cream products turn bad much quicker than the powder product. So. Uh, yeah, you will see this one definitely in other projects as well. But um, as you can see, de you know, definitely see I used the highlighter. Yeah, 10 times. Therefore, this one rolls out. Now, I'm going to show you the things that I'm currently working on or started to work on because uh, I cannot show you every 50 product again and again and again. So the single eyeshadows, I have not touched them yet, but they are on my mind. Definitely sh for sure. Uh, but I took out this little guy from my big palette that I had, uh, you know, put it in in the beginning. So this is uh, a depotted, uh, let's say, dupe for the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. As you can see, this is from Pennies or Primark. And I depotted it because I was, I don't know what happened to me in that sense, you know. I, I just thought, okay, I'm going to depot these kind of eyeshadows and yeah. So, and it's now loose and of course it can uh, quickly dry 
uh, you know, or dry much faster, which I don't want, but it can happen. So I used uh, this little guy, I think, two times or three times now. So still not enough to roll it out. So that's that's one thing for sure. Then this little guy here, this is from Milani. And as you can see here, gold, right, left and right, and also the packaging itself, but also on the blush itself, you can see that there is gold. And this is the, what is it, uh, Red Vino blush, and I used it only three times, so therefore I cannot roll it out yet, but it has been used. I think you can also see a little bit of, you know, blush around the edges, so uh, yeah, this one room is still in the project. Um, yeah, and I looked it up now. I used this little guy three times so far, so I was right with my estimation. Then uh, I have here this little guy, and this is from Juvia's Place, the the Heroin Glow by Juvia's, and this is this shade here. And so far I have used it only one time because I remember in the last update I said I'm going to use you know the bigger size packagings. Uh, you know package stuff so that I can just you know put them back into their space or put them into my big bins that I have for all my products that I want to use up or use in project pants and I just you know touched only this one last month or started to you touch this one there you go and the final product that I actually have touched so far um, within this project of course is this little guy here and this is also from Laura Gella. This is the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Gilded Honey. This is a sample size or delicate size sample. And you can see it was already in other projects and it is now in this project. It's a baked highlighter and I used it only one time. So, uh, yeah, I will try to focus on these products, but it can happen that I just, you know, to, um, switch my, uh, what is it? Um, change my mind and say you know what I'm working on other products and then I might finish other products quicker than these ones it depends because I'm planning a lot of you know blushes highlighters and so on so uh, it will be a little bit difficult anyway this was my little update for the project 50 shades of yellow or gold I see you in the next one have a good day <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous right so uh, bye bye